So today I finally got out to Maiden my new AR wing by Sonic model. Okay, so inside we've got the Omnibus F4 V2 flight controller. This has a built-in current sensor, so running my battery lead straight to the flight controller and then that runs out to my ESC. Um, I also have a little um, JST plug here so I can plug in externals, which is currently powering my VTX. Um, I might put a Y in there for LEDs depending if I use the flight controller to control my LEDs or if I just put some chase lights on there to help for uh, when Buddy might be chasing me. Have the GPS module hooked up through UART 6 and that comes in through the channel, the tunnel for the servo wire and into the uh, cavity here and plugged into the front of the flight controller. ESC I'm running is a Emax BL Heli 30 amp ESC. Uh, I really like this ESC. It's nice. Um, I currently have the 5 volt um, back output just um, not running to anything. So I don't run it back into the flight controller. I depin that and, and uh, covered it up. And that's pushing my uh, Emax motor. And I've got HQ props. These are the HQ direct drive props. Uh, I really like these props. I've used them on other planes and uh, they're nice and durable, uh, efficient, and uh, had some laying around. But I definitely, I got some more of these. Um, I'm actually running in reverse with my, um, the way the motor's set up. So I like the HQ props. VTX I'm running is the Wolf Whoop. I think it's Q3. It's a uh, 25 to 800 milliwatt programmable. You can program it from the flight controller or modify it via smart audio or tramp audio. Um, I still need to set that up. But I ran that through the MMCX connector out six inch extension to the wing and have that set up to my Lumineer Pagoda uh, antenna. I did that Pagoda antenna to try and get less drag. Um, seems like the little better than the uh, big plastic housings that are on some of the other antennas. Um, I guess going along with that, I was running my SkyZone uh, V plus goggles, SKO2 V plus goggles. Love these goggles. Immersion RC patch, and I got this new um, ready made RC Strix Hoot antenna. Um, I have a pair of these. I have the other one on my quad. I really like these antennas, uh, but as I said, this one probably wouldn't be as good as for uh, drag as the, the Pagoda is. So, goggles worked out great. Um, had no issues uh, over a third of a mile away and still had good video. So, that's all working really well. I did all the flight controller setup per uh, Matt's inexpensive flight controller and uh, OSD setup on his channel. Uh, super easy, follow along. Everything in his videos um, is really, really way, well laid out. Really happy with the, the way iNav worked yesterday. Uh, I did have some flickering with the OSD. I'm not exactly sure why that was. Uh, I need to look into it a little more. Might have been that I had the flight controller set on auto instead of PAL or NTSC. So I'm going to try setting that. But uh, as you can see in the video here, it's, it was flickering in and out through the, uh, the entire FPV flight, all my uh, down video, my goggles, and then record on DVR. It's just flickering. and it, All the data looked like it was good. It's just annoying as it's flickering in and out while you're trying to fly. The other thing I did is I took the stock push rods and I upgraded them to these Great Plains push rods. Uh, I got a 12 pack off Amazon. They're much thicker as you can see, about double the thickness. Um, and they actually, the, the fittings on the ends fit perfectly fine. I didn't have to modify the control horns at all. Just the servo swing arms just had to be drilled out a little bit more. So uh, I have a Z-Bend tool and was able to put a new Z-Bend in the end. They're working out great. Um, the other thing I did do is, to modify it is I added this little cooling duct just like uh, Matt did on Rag That's Off Channel. Just give it a little extra cooling air in there. I didn't get a chance to check right after landing how hot my ESC was. The motor was cold. It was also uh, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit out, so it wasn't a hot day. Um, but I believe with this air exhaust, I kind of put everything in line so that the air coming out the back um, goes over all the electronics and then they also added these two uh, side ports that weren't in the original versions of the plane um, and I did have to notch out a little bit for where it goes over the VTX. I got over a quarter mile per the GPS from where I armed and didn't have any fail safe issues. I do want to swap out this 
receiver for the spectrum receiver they make that's a satellite receiver with telemetry and I can set my DX6 up to actually give me warnings if I get low signal so I'll know if I'm going to lose my RSSI um, but I didn't seem to have any issues with that. Emacs motors, I love these Emacs red bottoms, great motors, um, just the RS2205, uh, 2300 kV and uh, plenty of speed, uh, easily cruising around it around four to five amps um, and that was like I said it was a windy day so had to push a little bit but um, really looking forward to getting out and flying again. Uh, I flew over 1300 I flew for 13 minutes but kind of pushed the battery a little far I'd probably stick closer to 10 or 11 with that 1300. Um, I had a 1500 but didn't really get to test uh, long term on that one. It's my kind of I guess mini review There's plenty of reviews out there but I just really liked flying this plane today and wanted to share a little more um, about how I got mine set up and uh, initial setups. I still plan on, like I said, I'm going to glue the wings on to the fuselage. I'm going to glue the wing lits on the ends. Um, use Gorilla Glow for that. And then I also bought some carbon fiber spars that I plan on putting in the wing. Um, instead of these rods, I'm going to actually cut a channel and put it in vertical to try and get rid of some of the flex. Um, as Matt had pointed out, there's a little bit of flex in the wing. So just try and help get as much of that out as possible and have it nice, rock solid platform. It's the first kind of, I guess, review thing I've done. Let me know if you guys like it. Um, trying to put stuff out that people like. So if you like it, click that like button, click the dislike button. I don't care either one of them. Um, and subscribe. Hope you enjoy this review, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.